What's going on guys? Beaver Creek Woodcraft here. Just wanted to show a quick tip that I just recently found out about. Um, a lot of people carry lineman's pliers or fencing pliers on the trap line. And uh, I was replacing a chintzy TSC brand pair that I had for years and they wind up walking off somewhere so I had to go buy a new pair. And when I went to TSC, I was looking. I found these Crescent brand. And they're a little more expensive than your Chinesium ones, but they're pretty nice because they have this little notch in the face of them here. And what that notch allows you to do is when you're out on the line, if you have a trap that got out of adjustment or maybe you weren't prepared for season and you're kind of out here winging it, um, which sometimes happens with work schedules and whatnot. That's what I'm doing now. That's why I'm so late putting this line in. But that jaw there, if I can get this thing to focus. That little notch in the jaws allows you to grab this frame with the dog swung out of the way. So you can very easily, because you have, you know, 12 inches of leverage on these pliers, very easily you can make minute adjustments, bend this, this dog out a little bit or bend this dog in. Um, you know, this thing really, you can really get a lock on. So if you got to make some adjustments on the fly, this will do it. Uh, but I thought that was nice because it allows you with that notch there, allows you to grab that trap frame. Oop. Trying to do this with two hands and it's really a three hand job, but allows you to grab this trap frame right here by the eye where the dog passes through. And you can make real fine adjustments that way. So you guys get a clear idea of what we got going on here. Sorry. So you see this nice big hole here gives you room for your dog to sit through and swing it out of the way. And then you can grab on. And since you're grabbing it right by that hole in the frame, it's really easy to do fine adjustments without, you know, going 300 pound gorilla on it. Um, Obviously, you should have your trap set up before season starts, but sometimes things happen. You don't always, you think you're set and you're not really set. It happens all the time. You got to be prepared for these sort of things. So um, I know a lot of people carry these fencing pliers, uh, you know, or lineman's pliers, but uh, these are kind of nice because they're multifunctional, you know, you can do a lot of things with them. So if you guys are trappers, Go pick yourself up a pair of them Crescent pliers. I like them. Um, they're definitely way better built than most of the other brands I've seen out there. So they're a pretty nice tool. Thanks for watching.